Welcome to smart to moves product tutorial videos. In these videos, we'll help you learn everything you need to know from setting up your new force plates to interacting with the smart to move app. Please note that these videos are focused on our new 3D dual force plates that you see here next to me. If you have 1D force plates, the process is nearly the exact same and you can still use all of this content. To get started, let's look at the contents of your new 3D dual force plate delivery. In the box, you will find first two dual force plates, one with a red arrow on it and one with a blue arrow. Next, you will find the charging accessories. And here you have three different things, two charging cables, one that goes into each force plate and the splitter that allows you to charge them at the same time by simply plugging, plugging it into a standard wall outlet. And finally, you have the spacer. This spacer allows you to properly set the distance between the force plates, depending on the player and club they're hitting. Now, we'll briefly walk through the anatomy of the force plates. We'll start with the bottom, where you'll see first your serial number. We'll come back to this when we register your force plates. You also have the articulating feet that allow the force plate to grip comfortably on any surface. Around the outside of the force plates, you have the rubber contour, which is supposed to move slightly. On the bottom inside edge of each plate, you have the power button in the charging port. To start the force plates, simply press the power button. Finally, on the top of the force plate, you'll find the replaceable mat, which can be changed upon wear. And importantly, in the middle of the force plate, we have the indicator light. If the force plates are off and it is not plugged into a power source, this simply means that the force plate is off. If it is off and plugged into a power source, you'll find that red means that it is charging, green means it's charged above 80%, and alternating between red and green means there is a charging issue. In this case, please reach out to support at smarttomove.com for assistance. Lastly, when the force plate is on, you'll find that it is either a flashing light or solid light. If it is flashing, that means it is waiting for a Bluetooth connection, and if it is solid, you are connected and ready to use the app. You will find here that blue means the force plates are charged, orange means it is charging, and red means that it is low battery. To finish this section on the hardware, we'll talk a bit about setting up the force plates. Now, of course, one of the beautiful parts about these portable force plates is that you can use them indoors or outdoors, but it is best to set it up on as firm of a surface as you can find. So to do this, we'll set them on the ground and it is important to look for a flat surface as well. When setting up, especially with a right-handed golfer, the red plate is always the right foot or trail foot and the blue plate is always the lead foot or left foot. Next, we'll use the spacer. And this spacer helps us set up the plates in the proper distance depending on the golfer or club they're using. If you use the spacer in this orientation, it'll set up the force plates in the one inch position. If when you separate the force plates, you use the spacer in this orientation, we'll now be at the seven inch position. These can be set in the app so that the force plates know which position they are in. Now, I also just want to draw attention to our quick start guide, which is a great summary of all these things we've gone over, specifically some precautions. You'll see these on the screen, but it's important that we don't jump on the plates and land on them, that we handle them with care in general and don't drop them, and that we use it in a fairly dry environment. This concludes our section on hardware, and next we'll begin to look at the software, how we connect the force plates in the app, register an account, and interact with the app in general.